New research suggests that the interstellar object 3I Atlas is unusually massive and far larger than expected. Let's dive straight into the new findings, the emerging theory, and the timeline of this interstellar visitor's journey through our solar system. How big is 3I Atlas? Figuring out how big a comet really is can be difficult. The challenge lies in telling the nucleus apart from the hazy coma around it. As a comet draws closer to the sun, its frozen ices turn directly into gas, dragging streams of dust out into space with them, which forms their distinctive trail or coma. This can make the comet appear far larger and brighter than the solid body itself. Now a team from Harvard led by Richard Kluda, Avi Loeb, and Peter Varesh analyzed observations of 3I Atlas collected between May 15th and September 23rd from 227 different observatories worldwide via the Minor Planet Center. They compared the actual trajectory to the path we'd expect if only gravity acted. What they found was a tiny but noticeable push, less than 15 meters per day squared. But comets with active outgassing usually get a slight push from the jets of escaping gas. In 3I Atlas's case, the measured non-gravitational acceleration is surprisingly low relative to the observed outgassing. That suggests the nucleus is heavy enough to resist being pushed around much by those jets. From this, the researchers estimate the comet's core weighs over 33 billion tons with a diameter of roughly 5 kilometers, not counting the surrounding coma, appears to be about 3 to 5 orders of magnitude more massive than earlier interstellar visitors. Loeb has argued that, given what we expect about the available population and heavy element abundance in interstellar space, we should by now have seen far more interstellar objects of more modest sizes before stumbling into one so massive. Yet we haven't, and that marks 3I Atlas as a significant outlier. Loeb even entertains a speculative alternative that the object could be of technological origin, citing the unexpectedly large mass, the alignment of its trajectory, and some purported detection of nickel without iron as provocative hints. NASA scientists, however, urge caution. The prevailing view remains that it is most likely a natural object. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet. Meanwhile, some scientists aren't asking what 3I Atlas is, but what its purpose might be. Astrophysicist Suzanne Falsner's idea is simple but striking. 3I Atlas may be a planet-making seed, but how can a wandering rock from another star system spark the birth of an entire planet? Let's take a tour. We enter a young solar system where a new star sits at the center of a great dusty ring. Here, tiny grains of rock swirl like smoke, clumping together into pebbles. With time, they snowball into boulders and then into planetesimals, the raw ingredients of planets. Given enough time, these grow massive enough to gather even more material. It sounds straightforward, but as we'll see, there's a serious problem with this picture. Disks only last a few million years before the gas is blown away. That window seems too short to explain how massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn were able to form. Now imagine a different scenario. Into this disk falls an interstellar object, a body already big enough to serve as a ready-made core. Instead of starting from dust grains, the disk suddenly has a solid seed that can immediately start pulling in surrounding gas and material. In this way, an alien traveler could speed up the birth of a new planet. Falsner's simulations support this idea. She found that massive stars are better at capturing interstellar objects than smaller ones. And sure enough, gas giants are more common around bigger stars. The match between theory and observation is striking. If this is true, then interstellar objects like Oumuamua, Borisov, and Atlas aren't just drifters. They may be the sparks that ignite planetary systems. Some might have seeded gas giants in faraway systems. Others may even have played a role in our own solar system's early history. It's a bold idea and still unproven, just like Loeb's. 
Interstellar objects are notoriously difficult to study. They appear suddenly, move quickly, and vanish into the dark. But this time we're ahead of the curve as we have detected it well in advance, and our technology may finally let us uncover its true nature, rather than just guessing after it's gone. ESA is preparing Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to observe 3I Atlas as it passes near Mars in October 2025. These spacecraft aim to capture images and data we've never had before of an interstellar object. Whether from orbit around Mars or from telescopes back on Earth, the coming months are set to provide a rare opportunity to track an interstellar object in detail. Astronomers have pinned several key milestones to their calendars, landmarks to watch as this visitor races through our cosmic neighborhood. October 3, 2025, Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Vals Marineris, the comet will plunge past the red planet a mere 18 million miles away. From orbit, Maven and Tianwen-1 will see its dusty coma start to glow faintly pink in the Martian dawn. October 29, 2025, Perihelion. Four weeks later, 3I Atlas will sling behind the sun, skimming to 1.36 astronomical units, which is about 130 million miles from the photosphere. Here, its speed peaks near 152,000 miles per hour. At this point, the comet is lost to Earth-based telescopes, hidden by solar glare, but spacecraft on Mars and at L1 will keep a watch as jets of vapor erupt from the freshly warmed crust. December 19, 2025, Earth Distance Check. With its tail now fully unfurled, 3I Atlas will pass Earth at a comfortable 170 million miles, too far for a naked eye view, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Rubin Observatory to rake its coma for isotopic clues. March 16, 2026, Jupiter Pass. Finally, the visitor will fly past Jupiter, 33 million miles above the gas giant's clouds. If NASA approves a late course tweak, the Juno spacecraft could swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, providing our sole up close look at material that formed beyond the sun. After that, 3I Atlas will curve back into interstellar space, leaving behind terabytes of data and a lot of questions. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a channel member to support our work. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.